Hiya, my name's Graham and I'm at Rimmy's Music here in Bolton and today I'm going to show you this absolutely fabulous Yamaha PSR SX600. Now it's been out a little while but this is the first time I've actually seen one and had a go on one. And I'm, wow, I'm impressed with it, it's brilliant. So it's got over a thousand sounds, it's got 415 accompaniments, it's got an EQ system so you can alter the sound to get it exactly how you want it. Great speaker system, you can plug headphones into it, you can even plug a microphone into it if you want to. It's got playlists for, for saving your own settings onto, you can plug a USB and record audio in or have audio playing back. It'll play MIDI files, you can have music coming up on the screen, it'll do absolutely loads, I'm really impressed for the price as well, it's absolutely brilliant value I think this. So I'm just going to give you a basic overview of some of the things on it because it does so much, I've been here all day. So let's start with say the Yamaha Concert Grand Piano that it's got built into it. It's called the Yamaha CFX, it's, the, it's over £130,000 this Grand Piano and they've put it in here. So what have you got, a 61 note keyboard and I'll just quickly tell you the sizes. So it's basically about 13 and a bit centimetres tall, it's uh, 41 centimetres in depth and 101 centimetres in width. So it's a nice compact size, really light as well, and a great speaker system. So let's get this piano going, and it sounds like this. two sounds together like I said so some of them are already preset for you like piano and string sound group that you want it comes up on screen and you just press enter but I've just put a few into memories here so it's dead easy for me to just get straight to them and you can save loads of banks of those like this is an electric piano like this <laughs> of the price paid for that. But you get loads of other sounds as well. So for example strings. <laughs> And some of the sounds are what they call super articulation voices. Well, what's that mean? Well, basically, it means they put extra effort into making those sounds as real as possible. So, for example, if you were playing a, an acoustic guitar and you went from a note down here to a note up there, well, what the guitar might, guitarist might do is he might slide up and go like that to get to the next note or glide to the next note and things like that. Now, you don't have to think about it, it just does it for you. So, on this guitar, it does that but it does it on lots of the other sounds like saxophone and strings and all sorts. So this is a, a brilliant guitar, this is concerto guitar. <laughs>
he's had on the guitar here, let's be honest. It's brilliant, that. Um, you can get others, uh, like a steel string guitar, like this, for example. <laughs> the sustain pedal then just to make it ring on and then when I took it off he put his hand back on the strings oh man it's really good so you can get loads and loads of rhythms and accompaniments you've got from ballroom dancing and old time and things to pop to rock to country anything that you might like so what I've done is I, I, I've, um, I've picked one here that's um, like a, a synthy sort of thing like this and you can have three intros three endings, four variations on every rhythm, and it'll set four sounds for you that suit every rhythm as well. So all I have to do is press one button and it changes the whole thing. I'll show you. country and western thing for you. Oh, if I press start, here we go. say you want to play <coughs> excuse me in your own time so like you don't want any drum beat going on and all bashing away and everything you just want to sit and play and play a few chords and just a few notes with your right hand this can do it it's got backings already built in just to give you a nice ambient sound i'll show you so if i put this one on like this mm -hmm. it's just a nice orchestral chord going on in the background that i can play on the top
one of the ending buttons, you can have it just gradually fading away, or because you've got three of them, it's sort of like small, bigger, and big, depending on which ending that you want. But you can make it just sound brilliant from not a lot of playing as well. Huh? Just awesome. And now I've just put things in memories here. Like I said, I've put eight in there, so it's easy to find. But there's absolutely loads of them. So I could pick one like that at random. And I've picked Arachaka Soraferencia. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. But let's have a do and see what that one sounds like. Oh, it's giving me a guitar. So here we go. What's it doing? Ooh. I'm on holiday. So here we go. So um, it's got a song built in as well. So let me just show you that. So what does that mean? It means you can have the music coming up on screen and you can download a thing called MIDI files and put them into its memory. You can get loads of them from Yamaha or you can get from other people as well. And some people do them for free and some are chargeable, but you can bang them all in here and then you can play along with them. And it has the music notation and everything coming up on screen. So I'll show you. So this one that they've got built in, they have a couple in just to show you um, what they're like from a demonstration point of view. And then I just press score on, and then what it'll do is it'll do a backing track for me, and I can play along with it. So in this case, it's doing a score refer, and the music's up on the screen with it. Now I can have it waiting for me, or I could just have it playing, and I can play along with it. It's up to you. So basically you can have the music up on screen, you can play along with it, or you can have it just playing for you and playing your loads of songs, or you can have it where you play one hand, you can have it doing the left hand while you're doing the right hand, or the right hand while you're doing the left hand, you can have it so it won't carry on until you're playing the right notes. It's just uh, brilliant. So that's just, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll finish off, because it's obviously, it's, I could keep on forever with this, but I think it's, oh, I honestly do think it's brilliant. So I'll finish off with just uh, another one of the rhythms. This is a, a bolero rhythm, which is brilliant. You don't normally get that on any keyboard, do you? Through the variations, it gets bigger than that. 